Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Utilize Squarespace email campaigns to drive sales and engage your audience. Introduce your brand to new subscribers with welcome emails, announce upcoming sales, or send out a discount code. There are built-in analytics to measure the impact of each send. They have such flexible website templates, it's so easy to get started by choosing a template and then customizing it to look and do whatever it is you need or want. And a huge help is their analytics system. This is where you can gather and use all kinds of insights to aid in helping to grow your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash Olivia Rizzolatte to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Jake versus Snow, round three. Welcome, welcome to the Hunger Games POV air cut to all Texans. <laughs> so, hey, hi, how are you? By the way, the shower is dripping and both of the sinks are dripping because of reasons, of freezing reasons. I, it's not, not a secret. The secret is how to keep this looking good um so it's monday and it's obviously not a school day we have the day off but i'm also hoping and probably gonna give myself <laughs> tomorrow off too because i don't live right close to the school that i work at so i have to take the highway a lot of bridges are involved overpasses and then also fellow texans that can't drive when the driving conditions are ideal, let alone, God forbid, there's a little, a little precipitation. So I have a whole day of reading ahead of me. Aside from I have to watch last week's weekly vlog and get that edited. And then I also need to, here we go. I need to, oh my gosh, what else do I need to do? Oh, go to my lash appointment. It is currently 8.46. Um, I woke up this morning because my partner woke me up because it is snowing, which is fun and also fresh. And it was cute. You guys would have seen some footage. Jake has a very love-hate relationship with snow. He doesn't know if he loves it or hates it. He can't figure it out. He just gets a lot of big feelings. <laughs> so that has been our morning thus fire but i am currently 
putting you down right there so that we can talk a little bit. Just talk us girls. Oh, it started snowing again. Slay. So here is our medium sized overlord, making sure everything's okay. And the tiny one is out there because she wants her heating pad. He started using hers. I think it's just the way he puts his little paws on it. She's so cute. So anyways, uh, this week is kind of crunch time for me in the sense of trying to get these two vlogs finished. Uh, one of which, because let me see. Let me look at a calendar. I think I might actually just be stressing myself out unnecessarily. I actually have two weeks. So I could read another book for the new releases vlog. And I think I may do that. So it is the 15th. And I am on the, I think the last day or second to last day of my swapping screen time for reading time vlog. And this is the book I'm currently reading for that, but it's going to be reviewed in my new releases vlog. But I'm wanting to have all of this done by January 28th because that week and then the second week of February, I'm not going to be posting. Well, I'll be posting. Whoa, I'm not gonna leave y'all. I got sub plans. Let me find my sub plans. So on the, I'm just calling it the first week of February because that's when the first of February is. That week I'll have my February TBR and reset vlog going up on that. And then on the seventh, I'll have the new releases reading vlog going up. And then that next week on Valentine's Day on the 14th, I will have the screen time vlog going up. And then that week, Valentine's Day week, I'll be filming a weekly vlog. That'll go up the next week. And then we'll continue into our typical weekly vloggy vlogs. And so I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be swell. I think it's going to go all right. I just, I don't know why I thought that I only had like a week left to do all these things. I don't. I have two weeks. So I may add in another new release. Not sure what I do. Probably one of the um, dozens I have from the library. <laughs> I think it's two dozen from the library, but... I've got questions of how much my library lets us check out. It's, I think, 150 and they auto renew. Please do not throw up on me. Not again. We can't keep doing this, Jake. This is why I say eat slow, you know? I don't know what's going on. Like, seriously? What? Your toy is right next to you. I don't. Kids. Hard to figure out. Anyways, so the two, please, seriously, actually, like, next week I want to do my Sky and Breath reread. So I think this week I'm going to focus on Raiders of the Lost Heart. So I'm going to be focusing on this one. And then I think, which I am buddy reading with my bestie. And then also I think we're going to buddy read this one. And then we're going to buddy read Sky and Breath. Um, will all that happen? Don't know. But when the moon hatched, I really do want to read. So these are the two that I'm looking at for this week. And I am in a romance and fantasy romance mood so we'll see and then the only thing that could interrupt is obviously project hail mary i'm still listening to that on audio because y'all told me audio only and then um the september house is the other one that i have to read so if maybe i want something still in our world before i dive into a fantasy because i'll be reading this sky and breath shadow all in a row so it's definitely going to be a lot of like fantasy heavy books. I think that I'll want to, not him just like freaking out back there. I think that I'll want to have like a little bit of a break in between things. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I am going to get myself ready and dressed so that I can get started on all of the extra stuff. And I got to organize some of my clips too, actually for the other vlog. My God, it is so bright. Every time I turn this camera on, she just knows, genuinely. Like, in a in a way of like, are you messing with me, girl? But, uh, hi. We're gonna take a shower because I need a little bit of a reset. I was just trying to figure out <sighs> some tech stuff. I know, isn't that revolting? I hate that for me. So I'm gonna take these little patches out of my life. We're gonna shower, we're gonna wash our face, we're gonna do all the fun things, and then we're gonna read for the rest of the day. And I'm gonna read, what is the book? Ow. Raiders of the Lost Heart is what I'm gonna read. So, 
that's the plan there. I did get a little coffee from Dutch Bros because I need a pick me up. So we're gonna do a reset shower, a pick me up Dutch Bros, and then just read. I was gonna do editing uh, on my vlog, but I decided that instead I would edit the January Patreon book club reading vlog early and then put that up instead because that was a 20 minute vlog versus this hour and something. <laughs> and I just, it's again, I don't wanna look at a screen for that long. And I exasperated my mental, not mental strain, but like my eye strain and just because I stressed myself out looking at all the tax information. I just freaking hate taxes, it's annoying. It's complicated now with like this and then I also will have the um, teaching job involved. It's just so much easier when you just work at a place, let me tell you. <laughs> to any of y'all that also deal with an LLC or any of the, oh my God, they are l -l 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 lame. The LL stands for loser and lame <laughs> because I hate them. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna go actually back out here for a second because we need to upload the vlog to YouTube so I can post it on Patreon and then we will shower. So I will see you guys on the other side when I inevitably feel better because I know I will. It works every time, you know? <laughs> okay, so I don't know what SD card this is. So hopefully it's the right one. I can never keep all of my video footage organized the way I want. So I think I'm probably like a little extra with how I do it. But I have an SD card for every kind of video that I make. Whoa. So for example, I have a weekly card, or no, a weekly vlog SD card, project videos, lifestyle specific videos, Patreon videos, ad reads and sponsor material. And then there's one more. Oh, I do have the converter one for this little dude and this specific SD card that's in here. But yeah, I just, there's a lot going on. So I hope the weekly vlog one is in here. We've obviously taken the shower. I'm feeling a bit better for sure. Please don't fall. And I think I'm in the mood to just read my little romance and do that for the after Okay, sure. That's about right. <laughs> so, so yeah. How far was I? Still chapter three. I haven't done any reading of this. I've just stressed myself out and I do feel better after the shower, but I need to like now refocus on the things I need to do and I need to do this freaking timer vlog, so. Yeah, I get started on that, so I'm like, I'ma see y'all later, all right? I'ma go, I'ma get this five hours of reading done, and I'll check in with y'all at the end, on the other side. Good morning, everybody. I am dressed very warmly for the day ahead. I have this little long sleeve. I got this one from Abercrombie, honestly love it. And this sweater, <gasps> is this an OOTD? <laughs> this sweater's from Anthropology. It's too expensive. The jeans, which you can't see because I'm not gonna lift my leg up that high because I might bend and snap. <laughs> and not in the Legally Blonde way, like in the I'd have to go to the hospital way. Uh, I got from Abercrombie too, and then the shoes I don't remember, but they make me taller, so I like them. Uh, I started last night, well I finished Raiders of the Lost Heart, and I reviewed it for 10 minutes in that vlog. So you can look forward to that if you care about that boot. But I have now officially started When the Moon Hatched. I've read the prologue, and I have read chapter one and i gotta say it is an interesting book i'm already intrigued i am also including this one in that uh new releases vlog because i don't want to just 
hate every book I'm reading. I hate doing that. I don't like, I don't care when other people do that, honestly. I don't mind. I don't view it as like a negative video, but I don't like it because for me it feels negative because I usually like what I read because I only read things I think I'm going to like. And I really thought I was going to like all three of those. And I just either felt like, mm, or I didn't like them. Honestly, I mainly fe felt like, mm, about them. So to me, that's worse. Because <laughs> then it's like, dang, I didn't even feel any way about this. What the heck? This one I'm already intrigued. I think that a fantasy romance is the way for me to go and not just a fantasy that has some romance, but like a true, the author claims this is a fantasy romance. But I'm telling y'all right from the start with this world building, oh, we're getting into it. So our main character is at this, it seems like kind of like a bar nightclub thing. And this is in a fantasy world. This is not like giving Crescent City vibes. She is someone who, I think she's like a hitman, which is like, that's impressive. What's your resume look like? Actually, it might scare me, don't tell me. But the thing that has really got me that we've really got, that's all we know about our main character, and she's doing this. The um, world building of like the past stuff is so cool. Like there is a god for each element, and it kind of tells us in the prologue how the world came about, and then there are dragons, and I guess when the dragons die, they go up into the sky, and harden and become like moons, but then they would crash down. And so like this mythology got put into place with these like, I think it involved this fae hunter guy dude who was the guardian of the stone that made it to where they didn't fall out of the sky anymore. And then it ends on like, until the next dragon fell. And I'm like, oh, what happened? <laughs> So yeah, that's what we have so far. I'm into it. I'm intrigued. The writing style immediately jumped out to me where I was like, yep. You know, if you've read a lot of fantasy romance, it's really hit or miss. I feel like honestly, my experience with Kindle Unlimited in general has only been contemporary romance and fantasy romance. That's really all I read on there. I don't read thrillers or the horror or the, what else is on there? Or the fantasy. I just, I don't really dabble in the rest of it. I have my two that I use Kindle Unlimited for, which is romance and fantasy romance. And it's a very hit or miss thing, especially when you're taking Rex from Book Talk. And this is not me being like, mm, Book Talk sucks, Book Talk sucks, mm, Book Talk doesn't know good books. Sometimes Book Talk knows good books, I will admit. Just like sometimes BookTube knows good books, and sometimes BookTube don't know good books. And sometimes Book Talk doesn't know good books either. And that's okay, because that's like called taste and opinion. Hey yo. So my main thing is that I have noticed is the amount of people that don't care about writing style or annoying phrases or repetition of certain phrases like within every chapter this the character will say the same thing over and over again. Book talk tends to like skim over that more than the channels that I watch on YouTube. And that's cool, that's fine. If you, or maybe you know what, maybe they don't, maybe they do notice it, but they only have a short time because it's a TikTok length instead of a video length, so they don't have as much time to really go into depth and mention the writing style. I don't know what the case is, but whatever the case may be, I have just noticed that they don't seem to care over yonder as much. And I have friends that don't care about writing style either. Like if the, if the story's good enough, they're gonna be there for it. They don't care. They just don't care about the writing style. I do care about it. Um, sometimes I can look past it, like if I'm really invested or whatever, that's rare. It doesn't need to be my favorite writing style. Like I don't need it to be Tejada Mafi style. I don't need it to be Lainey Taylor style, but I need it to be mm, good and <laughs> I feel like it's not like what I like. I can't get past it to go into the book. So all of that to say, this is very much reminding me of Carissa Broadbent's writing, not in similarity really at all, but just in, I think the same league and specifically Daughter of No Worlds, not whatever the serpent in the wings of night. I think that's the title. Not that one. I don't like that one. That one did not feel like it was written by Miss Carissa. That, she got hijacked. I don't know what happened there. Daughter of No Worlds is the best 
read that. I still need to continue on with that series, but I love the first book so much I'm scared to like not like the rest, but anywho. Uh, yeah, this reminds me kind of of Blood Mercy by Vera Roth, Carissa Broadbent, like just really, I don't know, like fantasy romance that's written like a fantasy book. How about that? And um, so, uh, an example of what isn't like that for me is Jennifer Lynn Auburn Child from Blood and Ash and whatever the second one was, Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. Those were good, should have stopped there. Stop while you're ahead, you know? So I'm gonna go because we have a late start today and it is currently 8.20. Oh, I need to log, yes, I took my medicine. Thank you. But let's see, I never drive to work at this time because this is way later than usual. So I need to see, okay. I think I need to leave about now to be able, I'm gonna go get a freaking hazelnut truffle mocha with oat milk. Add in white chocolate because that's my new order. And it is so good, so good. And I, I need it. I made a coffee this morning and my little coffee beans are really annoying me because it's like, they were too fresh. So I had to grind at a bigger size and make it coarser, but now they're like getting to the point where I don't have to do it as coarse. I don't know, usually like with my decaf beans, I just throw that in on the same thing every time and a perfect pour comes out. So if you ever see the perfect pour in the B-roll, that's the decaf. And sometimes I do put it in the morning because I'm like, I'm uncaffeinated and mad <laughs> when my other one isn't working, which is mm, every day. So that's super fun, super annoying, love it the most. Uh, but I did buy a little pour over thing to replace the pour over thing that I have, but I kind of, not broke necessarily, but I didn't keep it in working order, let's say. So I'm gonna just try and make some like pour over coffee with this coffee and see how that is. And that won't get in for like four to six weeks though, because it's, I don't know the words, so forgive me, but it's like people like actually make with their hands and like clay and they put it in that big pot that like does something to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Probably not, but it's really cute. Of course, I'll show you when it gets in, but let's go. Let's go get a coffee. Let's go get there a little early. I gotta finish editing the weekly vlog and then we'll read uh, during lunch. Wow, I'm really jam packing a lot of stuff into lunch there. I don't think I'll be able to do, do all that, but we'll see. Hello, <laughs> it's me. Um, we are here to get, um, well, I guess changed. Um, so just an update. We ran our faucets as you're supposed to. You can hear it in the background right now when it gets real cold, right? Well, the sink one, for whatever reason, seemed to have frozen. And so we had, we did everything we we're supposed to do and I was really worried we were gonna come home and it wasn't <laughs> gonna work because we have dishes to do and I hate, the, I feel like everyone has a thing. Everyone has a thing that if this thing is done, the house feels clean and mine definitely is the dishes. It simply is. And so, sorry, these shoes I wore today, they are cute, but man, they hurt my feet. <sighs> but it's fine. So, anywho. Long story short, the sink's working, so I'm happy. And I'm going to do those dishes, but I also do need to walk on the walking pad. I just don't feel like it, that's the problem. Because I was doing all kinds of walking today at work, and really, I do quite a bit there. So I don't really wanna walk when I get home, especially because my feet actually really hurt, and I don't really wanna put shoes on right now, so I don't know. But I did want to say that I am back to reading Project Hail Mary. And y'all, this is, if you wanna recommend me books like this one got recommended, please continue to. I may not read all of them. It may have to be one of those things where I decide like, oh, 
it's time, which is actually gonna always be the case because I am such a mood reader. I have to like also in my head be the one that decided it. And if someone recommends it to me, I didn't decide it. Therefore, I won't read it. And if I do read it, I won't like it. I can't, I can't make things make sense. So <laughs> that's why this booktubers choose my TBR videos taking a minute to get out because I don't like to not be in control. Okay, I'm working on it. I love clever books and I love smart books. They're different things. Clever books can involve the author being clever, the character being clever, the way it's done is clever, witty, da, 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 whatever. Smart books, it's like you learn something. My favorite thing is when it is clever and smart. So like this book, the way it's done and the way the mystery is put together and how we're on this journey with the character is so clever. The way that it is written is just so cleverly done. Period, Ginger. And then also the main character is very witty. You can tell the author is also witty. The way things are explained, I feel like I'm learning something. I feel like this is a very smart book. It reminds me very much of the Robert Langdon series. Oh no. I wish I hadn't picked her up because I just realized this is the sweater she loves to- Okay, okay, I'll turn the sink on for you. There you go. So anyways, I am enjoying my time. I feel like I'm learning something. And I specifically, that's the sink, okay? Ginger demands it. We just have to have some ASMR, some asthma in the background. Uh, but I am really loving that our main character is a teacher because the way that he views his students as his kids is so relatable. It's exactly how I feel. I have zero desire for children. Students are my kids. Okay, and now that I'm a para and I'm in all three middle school grade levels instead of just, you know, in one, um, got like a hundred plus kids of the ones that I'm working with and I, you know, they're all, they're my kids and I call them as such and I just really relate to that and I liked seeing that depiction because I think you see a lot of depictions of teachers of like not liking their kids and yeah, that's T too, but when it comes to this, oh, and because he's a science teacher, ah, they had to hit on it, right? With the whole, like, when he's trying to explain what this astrophage does, and he's like, well, you guys know about uh, climate change, right? And this kid's like, yeah, my dad says it's not real. I've had to, I've had to work myself through that conversation before, because I'm just like, okay, well, <laughs> you see, Johnny, <laughs> like, I don't know how to tell you this and where he just hit the character literally just goes well it is so anyways moving on and then he has this whole breakthrough of like oh my gosh this is the doom of our planet I'm just really enjoying this book a lot and I'm not rushing through it I know probably if you've read it you're like Olivia I know you can read a book fast let's go I don't want to though like I'm, I'm taking my time and I'm just enjoying it it's like I'm gonna be really sad when it's gone honestly um but aside from that when the moon hatched, I'm about 50 pages in, enjoying it as well. Um, I don't have any updates from this morning when we talked, but I am going to get changed into some chill house clothes and then hopefully get this early access up over on Patreon because it was supposed to go up <laughs> yesterday, but we're having a little bit of a delay, so <laughs> fun. And yeah, let's... Let's do it, guys. Hello, Tiny Terror. Do you have anything to say to the people? Nothing. It's amazing how you always have so many things you would like to share with the class, and then as soon as like, you are called on, you're like, oh no, I am perfect, princess. I am very calm and demure and polite. I would never say anything rude. Eva. She's literally started purring for me talking to her. Also, I don't know if my grandma is watching this, but my grandmother that lives in Texas as well sent me a bunch of cross stitch supplies because she doesn't do it as much anymore. And um, <laughs> we're gonna go open that and I'm very excited. I may show you later, but I also, I now need to get like a thing to organize my cross stitch because I wanna be like the girls. And when I mean the girls, I mean, I'm ready to be in my like 55 plus senior community. That 55 is not a senior. I am so sorry. That's not the number I meant to say, but I'm gonna keep it in because it's kind of funny, but also <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no offense meant by that. I, I could just see my mother's face saying that. 
Woo! Woo! Um, okay. No, but like the 55 active community, you know, you know, like those, like apartments. <gasps> my partner's home. I have to go, but I need to get a thing to organize all of my craft supplies. That's what I'm saying. I want a little basket. My mom always had a sewing basket. I want a basket. Hello, hi. I have, hold please, chipotle, some guac. I'm heating up my burrito because I like my food hot. Not necessarily spicy, but hot. Do y'all like that? Cause my partner is not specific, but I am very specific. Like I need it to actually be warm. So I heat my food up all the time. And in fact, that's really hot and kind of hurt <laughs> to put back into the tin foil. Anywho, um, how are y'all doing? What are y'all up to? I'm home. It is a late work night for <laughs> the, the, the booktube cryptid. So I am having what I call, jokingly, a bachelor's night because it's very much not that, but it's me and Jake are having a bachelor's night. And so I'm watching Kempire recap the Salt Lake City reunion part two, which unfortunately Mary was the highlight of, although she was saying some odd things about her kid. You know, that's Mary. Ginger. I have fed Ginger, I have fed Jake. I'm about to feed me and then I'm gonna get more of this guy red. Girl, I've already taken my shower, clearly. I did the dishes, so that's done. I just have a few Tupperwares uh, drying because I don't want to put that into the pantry. Well, it's not dry. Can I help you, please? Oh, okay. Anyways, I'm. that's, that's the plan for tonight. I don't really have a whole lot I'm going to do. I just want to kind of chill and read and be yelled at, apparently. It's the stare down. Uh, okay, I'm going to go before Kempire takes callers because that's my favorite part and I highly recommend watching him as a good pairing for watching Real Housewives franchise and later on in this vlog I will discuss the franchises and what seasons I think you can start from and yeah I also think I'm gonna restart Roni but from like I don't know. I just want to watch Scary Island, but I want the backstory to Scary Island. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to know all of it. I'm more so a completionist than not when it comes to the Housewife franchises. So I would tell you to watch them all, but that's just me. Okay. <laughs> One. And then what? No, really. What then? That's it? Ginger. Do you want to go lay down on your heating pad? Do you want to rule the world? Do you want total domination? Oh, brilliant. Hi guys, so we are on a mission. You and I and Ginger. Ugh. And we're gonna have a cozy, comfy little chat. Because I would like to request, why does my hair look like that? Um, letting it air dry is crazy. <laughs> but I would like to request what your um, reading routine is down in the comments. <laughs> can I get a reading routine in the chat? Uh, but really, can I please? Can you let me know <laughs> what yours is? Because I just downloaded, you can't freaking see that. Uh, when the moon hatched, I downloaded the Kindle version because it's on Kindle Unlimited. So if you want to read it, that's a present for you, from me and Jeff Bezos. Uh, I freaking love Kindle Unlimited. Have we talked about that in a while? That's a hundred percent worth it every month. I'll tell you what, one subscription service I refuse to get rid of. Anywho, I now am going to have like a day. Yeah, because so there's two days a week where my partner will be coming home late and I am not the cooker in this family. I'm the the cleaner in this family, okay? I love to do the dishes and to vacuum. Vacuuming is like, I think it's because we have a dog. 
and he sheds a lot and so it's really satisfying when you vacuum. I um, am gonna have to cook on those days. I think it's Monday and Tuesday I'll be cooking just because it's like easier and we get hello fresh so I cannot cook to save my life but I can I could follow rules okay I can follow a little instructions that'll be fine um, I've done pretty well but that's also kind of fun because I thought I would film that with y'all so we can chat while I cook I don't know what we'll talk about but it'll be It'll be something, <laughs> or I have thought about doing like a live stream on Patreon just while I'm cooking, and then when uh, they're getting close to being home, I'll, you know, end it, and then we can continue on with the night, but Wednesdays are gonna be the later nights, so it'll be like separate dinner, and then, so I already had dinner. I'm gonna let those be the, I can eat at home if I want to, but if I want to have like a treat myself moment, I can do that too. So I got Chipotle today, as you saw. And I think I'll also double that. Like I'm gonna separate that from the day that I can go get coffee out of the house. Uh, we'll start that next week. <laughs> because I already got coffee out of the house twice this week. So might as well go for a third, am I right? <laughs> Anyways, um, reading routines. I am gonna have a lot of time to read. I think I now have, I've showered, I've had dinner, I have cleaned, and I'm done. It's 6 p.m. So I have like three hours of reading to do. And I really think the times that I have read before bed very intentionally for about three hours or so, like, I feel the best. Like, I sleep so well that night because I think the thing is, I tire my brain out because this might sound weird, but teaching a subject or aiding in the teaching of a subject that you are really good in and I have always naturally, I feel like everyone has a subject they're naturally good at and then I just chose to study that and then go further to teach it. I'm really good at English and in fact I like it. So even the challenge that I could face in it, which is really just the challenge of how can I differentiate and scaffold things, like I love that, but it's not a challenge that like feels like a ugh kind of challenge. And honestly, I do think you get to a point where it's not as challenging because you've worked that, that little brain muscle so much. If you're a teacher, maybe this is making sense. If you're not, I don't know if this is making sense, but it could. And maybe also it's not making sense, period. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I feel like my brain doesn't really get tired because the only thing that ever really exhausted my little noggin was, first of all, when I wasn't doing well mentally, so let's not go back. But then school, you know, because I was not the teacher, I was the student. And to be fair, I think if you're a good teacher, you're always a student, my personal opinion. But I don't know, I think it, there's just a difference. And so when I would read specifically a little fantasy book or something of the like, it would really help in like kind of tiring me out, calming me down, getting me back into like my what is that called when your nervous system is like chilling? <laughs> I, I am so technical with my terms. Anyways, let me show you something. I'm about to learn y'all all about this little setup I got, okay? For my Kindle. And this is how I am able to read so much because I get comfy cozy. And then Ginger, you see she's getting up because I'm not kidding, she sees it and she's like, I'm gonna have a lap to lay in in about five minutes because <laughs> it's how long she knows it's gonna take me to talk to my friends while I'm doing this because it always takes me longer to do anything and laugh laugh whoa when I'm talking to my friends have you seen that I'm talking to my friends mama <laughs> me me every time I'm vlogging okay let me lessen the intensity of what's going on here hey yeah I don't know what to tell you. So I have my side table here. I'll link this setup down below. But what you do is you put this little guy like this and go soup and then you spin it until it's stuck on there real good because make sure it's on there real good because I didn't one time and I found out what happens and I'm trying to save you from finding out what's gonna happen to you if you don't get it on there real good. You get your Kindle and you put it within the confines and then let me turn this up a little bit so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So there's this little dude 
which has a little clicker right here yonder. So I know this is beautiful, but stop focusing on it. Oh, why did my asthma room stop working? I need it for my calming. Okay, so you click that little guy there, and then you, you have to have this, let's work with shadows. You have to have this little thing hidden on your Kindle so that it can turn the page. You see what I'm saying here? You following me? You following me? Okay, great. So you put that there and then let's open my mind palace. So you have it like that. And then this little clicker here, you click this little button, boom. Baby, it's magic. I can't even tell you. So yeah, is it lazy? Yeah, for sure. Um, I also do uh, challenge you to think though that some people, you know, it's not as easy for them to hold up books and I'm not even being facetious or funny. I really do mean like if you've got like arthritis, if you're tired, like if you can't sit up all the time, like genuinely, it really is a cool, so if anybody needs it like that, but also if you're like me and you just don't want to hold the dang book, <laughs> get you one of these. So, Ginger's ready, she's prepared. I guess I'm just gonna sit here and listen to my little asthma room and escape to my mind palace. Like, look at, she's ready to rock and roll. Wow, she looks so ominous, just outlined with the red background. Cause also, not my nightly routine that you asked for, but I put my, this lamp's gonna turn off uh, cause I'm gonna do it. It's not like a timed thing that would be a little too planned, but I put my hatch on here. Let me turn this. I put it on Darth Vader red. Okay. Because that helps me get sleepy. I don't know the science. I don't care to learn it. Um, but I'm going to go lay down with my cat now. So good night. This is so, oh my gosh, this is giving insidious. Look at my nails. They look like claws. Tip Toe through the tulips. Okay, I'm gonna go. That's weird, but I'm keeping it in. You got games on your phone? Okay, hi. Um, I'm here to be super serious. So, I am trying to read this for the, obviously, the new releases look. And I'm gonna go update that in a second, but I can't tell if I'm not in a reading mood or wait. Yeah, look, if I just need a little bit of a break, I'm a big believer and you don't always have to be reading something. I know I have friends that are not that way, but I do like to partake in a little breaky break sometimes. However, when I'm like thinking about it, I'm like, give me a little fictional world to dive into, you know what I mean? And this one is, it's there, 700 pages on my little Kindle, and I am... Let's look. Let's look, shall we? Because really not a lot has happened. I'm 33% in. I'm 244 pages out of 718 pages in. It, I, sh I feel as though I should be further into this. Like, plot-wise. But I'm not. And here's the thing. We're getting a little interesting with it. And I'll talk further in the new release vlog for it. But I'm just like... Am I, mayhaps, not in a KU fantasy romance mood? Because here's the thing. While I do not think that traditionally published books are inherently better than Kindle Unlimited or indie published or whatever you want to say, um, I think that there is a difference between them. And I don't think that's good or bad. I think it's a neutral thing. I think it's just a characteristic of the books like it's it's just something I've observed but usually when I want more like 
I don't know, unhinged chaos and really fun, well-written, fast-paced stuff, I'm going to go to indie just because I feel like they answer to no one. They can say whatever they want, do whatever they want in their books, and there's not an editor that's like, I think it would be better in this way. Not that all authors even listen to their editors. Cassie Clare. So I'm thinking maybe I'm just in the mood for something a little bit more up that is along the traditionally published line of like, I don't know. I don't know. If you read both, let me know if you notice a difference. And again, please. This is not saying that indie is bad because I read so much of it. Almost all of the romance I read is indie. I almost, actually, I don't really trust traditionally published romance, but I do favor, like, I favor KU in indie romance. But with fantasy, it, it it's honestly, it's a toss-up, especially with fantasy romance. That's going to be more of the KU girls. I'm going to have to say they know what they're doing. They just do. Or the indie or, you know, whatever. They just know what's up. Traditionally published does not really have their finger on the pulse of fantasy romance. I got I to, gotta, I, I don't know what to tell you. That's just the truth. But with, like, just straight up fantasy, I'm going to prefer traditionally published. Like, that's just my preference as of now. But I could gobbledy gobble those words right back down later in the years. Who knows? Um... But I'm, I'm just trying to decide if I'm... Oh, well, my Kindle said we're updating. So actually, shut up, Olivia. Cool. Uh, I just can't decide if that's the thing. Because I'm in a reading mood. It's just I can't settle. That's the word. I cannot settle. And I think it's because January 30th is coming with a swiftness and yet incredibly slow. And I just really want to read that. To be honest with you. But I also am kind of looking at... The September House, which is on the actual TBR. That could be a one. Hey, hey, if you're getting ready to type that I should be reading Project Hail Mary, hey, already ahead of you, buddy. That's my audiobook. So I won't be doing the physical of that, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing in life. <laughs> Specifically reading. But honestly, as of lately, that kind of applies to every every avenue. But I'm going to keep going with this because now that I put on a little Throne of Glass playlist from Spotify, kind of a vibe. Honestly, some books I think really need a soundtrack. And that's okay. That's okay. Uh, other thing to say. What is going on, Jeff? Let's go. Jeez. Um, what was the other thing to say? Oh. I have gotten questions about the Spotify playlists, like when I post them on um, the Instagrams. And hey, literally all I do is, so if it's a fantasy romance, I'll literally just search up fantasy romance. But if I have a specific, like I know it's more medieval vibe, fantasy romance or fae or something like that, I'll search up typically Throne of Glass playlist into it. Love it. And then all of us villains, they have a good playlist out there. Hey, I'll tell you what. Spells for Forgetting, Miss Adrian Young put a good playlist out there herself. Okay? So I just look it up on Spotify. I don't make any. I just um, absorb what the community grants me. So I guess I'll go update the other vlog with all my complaints and worries. And <laughs> we'll see. I just think this book's long. To be honest, I think that if I'm looking at my books that I have read this month, The Hunting Moon, All of Us Villains, Spell for Forgetting, The Fury, and then Raiders of the Lost Heart, hey, that was a wrap-up. I'm done, right? I did the wrap-up. Uh, those are all super short. I don't know if any of those really fully go over 400 pages, like a lot. And this one's 700 pages. And girl, it feels like it. So... I think maybe I'm just also not in a slow-paced book mood, but I'm in a slow-paced romance mood. So what am I to Okay, my hair is also starting to like kind of look like a comb over, so that's cute, I guess. Um, I don't know what vibe that's cute for, but one of them. 
somewhere. I'm trying desperately to look into the little little floating camera head above y'all, but I keep looking at myself and the tiny, tiny little screen below. Let me not. Okay. Oh, it's back. Okay, bye. Let's start it off. Yep, there it is. What else would you like to say, girl? And what else? Okay. Uh, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. Desperately trying to make this work. Desperately failing <laughs> to make this work. Um, I just got him... From work specifically we just dropped off a bunch of my library books for the library <laughs> if you could imagine and I have a few I have two holds I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it so I am currently uh, oh I'm down for nowing so I'm putting it down but I do intend to go back at some point in my life don't know when, uh, when the moon hatched. I talk about in the new releases vlog, so that'll be up soon. But it's just not working for me, not interesting, not entertaining enough for me to read 400 more pages of what I've been reading, which is like what's been happening, just repetition. Uh, so I picked up the September house and it's already piquing my interest. I'm gonna include this one in that vlog instead of that one and then we'll round it out at finishing this book. So I have Patreon sprints tonight at six and it is currently at five o'clock. So yeah, I had to drop my car off to get it fixed. A little um, uh, thing that they emailed me about. So that's being taken care of. And then Tomorrow we have brunch with my uh, mom's side. And then uh, Sunday we're doing a study date together, but really it's just, I'm not studying anything, I'm just editing. So yeah, those are the weekend plans. Pretty chill weekend, excited about it. I do have a second round of um, Patreon sprints tomorrow at 1 p.m., but we may make those evening sprints again just for the sake of why not, to be honest. Uh, and I feel like everyone prefers evening sprints. Like, who doesn't love a good wind-down evening sprint? It's my favorite thing. I actually do like doing them on Fridays. I just sometimes getting home from school, I'm like, no one look at me, no one talk to me, don't even. Don't even. So, luckily I'm not like that today. Uh, but we're gonna do 
this. I'm 15 pages in right now, so I'll check in and we'll see where I'm at later on. But I guess right now Ginger wants me to feed her. Even though it's not dinner time. She's just staring me down, y'all. This is my POV. Every time I'm filming anything, she's right here. What's she doing? No one knows. I mean, she's really cute while she's doing it, whatever it is. Look at those tiny little paws. Do you want the ginger show? Is that what this is? Do you want to take over the vlog? Imagine ginger vlogging for a week. That'd be kind of cute. Oh, okay. She said not for free. Jake is up there. <laughs> Hi, Jake. He's exhausted from barking when we get home. Um, yeah, let's go do dinner. Please ignore the frames that literally don't have pictures in them yet. Uh, we have my coffee. We have me. We have the hobbit habitat, I suppose, in the background. We have five minutes left on this sprint. I just had dinner. And I'm going to be reading this guy tonight. So, that's all. I think you're caught up there.
hello guys let me undo this so update I finished the September house when we came home from brunch I'm currently setting up my laptop for sprints here right next to it and then we are going to be organizing my closet I don't know if I'm gonna film a whole lot of it to be honest I might just show you at the end the vision but this is the thing that I bought so you can hang five jeans like this or you can uh, put this down and it'll go like this and the jeans will go like kind of on top of each other I don't think I'm gonna do that route I think I'm gonna have them hang next to one another but what I may end up doing is taking the sports bras down off of their hangers which then I don't know what I'm do gonna do with the hangers that I have for them because let me show you what I'm talking about so here's the here's the beautiful setup there's a lot to clean but these hangers I don't really know what I'll do with them if I'm not using them for the sports bra so I may just try to find if we have space we'll keep it up there but I'm just not sure I'm just not sure we're gonna have space for those. So we're gonna take down all these crew necks. We're gonna fold them, put them in this drawer. I'm gonna hang up all of my other things like the half zips, the scuba things from, uh, I almost said audible cause that's what I'm trying to sign into. <laughs> no, from Lululemon. Those will stay because I think that they look good where they are, uh, but everything else will go obviously and yeah I'm going to listen to my little audiobook while we do this I think we're gonna do hour and a half sprints and yeah once I'm done and I can focus a little bit more because I finished the September house literally right before I took like a 30 minute crash nap and I still want to process my thoughts on it gave it five stars on Goodreads though I did leave the book knowing it was a five star but I just want to have a little bit more time to process my thoughts to discuss them, but also I won't discuss them too far, I guess. In this one, I'll be doing it in the um, new releases vlog. But this lighting is atrocious. We need to get it off of me. So I'm gonna go start these sprints. Hello, hello. It is I, once more, back with a freaking speech for you guys. I, uh, honestly, and being harassed by Ginger, and I'm gonna go ahead and blame her for being the reason why I did not have a voiceover. Well, no, wait, I have a voiceover. It's her fault, period. That's what I'm getting at. Um, if you can hear her snorting, it's because she had to be picked up for me to record this in peace. I would argue I'm not feeling a lot of peace right now, but, you know, she doesn't care. In this clip, I do believe I was trying to complain about the fact that I was going to have to piece together my little jean holder things. And, you know, while that was awful, it actually was way easier than I thought. So the jean holders and organizers are a double slay, both of them. I would recommend. I will link them for you. What the hell was that face? Um, honestly, I really don't know what else I had to say here. So... We're going to skippity-doo, and what I want to warn you, <laughs> rhymes, about is the fact that, well, first of all, next week we're going to start off with a big old rant about Housewives of Potomac, because what a flop. But second of all, I want to talk about coming up is going to be me chatting for literally 11 seconds about freaking out about Project Hail Mary. And it's not a spoiler. <laughs> it's... Not really. However, it's not, like, descriptively noted in the summary on the flap jacket, on the Goodreads, on the Barnes & Noble. So, personally, I feel like it is the most effective and also most fun to go in not knowing anything. So, truly, this next clip, there will be another warning before it, too. I threw in a little cute noise for you. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. But uh, that clip is for the girls, gays, and days who have read Project Hail Mary. And if you have, stay tuned. If you haven't, don't listen to it. Um, look at these instructions. I know for a fact I was saying, can you see it? Can you see it? Cool. I literally just said that. Um, I have to go. Somehow Ginger just got into the sink. And I'm confused. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look at me. Look at me and my eyeballs right now. Every one of you little that told me to read Project Hail Mary, am I about to meet some aliens? They were just in Miami and now they're in Project Hail Mary? You don't think that Miami thing was, it, just kidding. I mean, it was a cover up for like everything else that's actually going on in our government, but let's have fun with it, okay? <laughs> Not that, real life, it, it ain't fun. Project Hail Mary. Also, yeah, I know my mic wasn't working. <laughs> I got the first uh, hook in. Captain Hook, they call me. Fucking never. Hello. Yes, the tree's up. Stop. There's so many little things to be happy in life right now. <laughs> Let me have this one. Um, okay. Ooh, ooh. Can I get a what, what? I just want to record my reaction as I'm listening to Project Hail Mary right now because I think something's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna be silent. So no spoiler warning here. Just the spoiler of fun. Okay, I'm making dog food by the way. Yum. Up. I'm too excited for what's gonna happen and the chapter I just ended chapter 9 and it ends with knock 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 Out of context that doesn't matter to you. That's such a good ending to a chapter. Oh my god I love on a on a Look what time it is BBE. Okay. Hi, so I have paused at the beginning of chapter 10 if you're following along with the Project Hail Mary <laughs> moment. Um, I'm freaking out, because when I get really excited about something that's gonna happen in a book, I'm like, stop, go no further. Uh, and then I just sit in a place of self-induced limbo, purgatory if it's going real bad. Uh, sorry, the ice machine's going. But I've just, ground up some beans. I think what I'm gonna do is I have some clothes to donate, some clothes to throw away because they're not good, like I said. And I'm gonna put those in some trash bags. I'm going to really quick piece together the last jean holder. It's worth it, by the way. It's actually pretty cool. I'll show y'all. And then, actually, let me just take you. Let's just go there now. Why, why are we wasting time? Why are we wasting daylight? But I wanna just go sit in my bed with my book and just stare at the pages. <laughs> Because this is like so good. This is oh, so good. No, don't get brighter. What the heck? Okay. We're going to sit down like a stable family. Okay? I've definitely said that before in real life. <laughs> Fun thing. I was so confused on where my workout shirt order went because I ordered a three pack of just Hanes black shirts so I could wear them to go walk and couldn't figure out where they were. They were under the pile of doom up yonder. Okay, <laughs> so there's that. Let's make sure I'm still muted on the stream. Okay, I am and that's great. So I'm gonna build this other guy and then we'll put everything into it's proper bags. Uh, honestly, there's only like two or three things I think that can go to the donation place. And that's all right by me. We've got a few of those around us. Well, not really, but I don't mind driving. Well, actually I hate driving, but I technically like it. I'm just fearful of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like actually, as soon as I said that, um, there's at least, at least, I'm gonna say, mm, four of you that were like, away with words she has. Just kidding, there is literally none of you that said that. <laughs> Cause I don't, I have a way with words. I have a way of chasing them away. Cause I never know what I'm trying to say. I always know the vibe, but I don't really know how to say it, you know? Oh shoot. I already threw away my little wrench. 
Well, this is gonna make things interesting. I thought that was a spider and y'all are about to see a real time freak out. Uh, but by the next time I see you, allegedly, supposedly, I hope, I will, is it a hair wash night? No, I don't think so. So I will just shower fast, change, wash my eyelashes. Gotta do that today. I mean, I'm trying to do it every day, at least every other day. I don't wear makeup, so she said that I don't have to do it every single day, but I just feel like why not get into the habit? Like, cause then I'll also wash my face every day, which I need to get into the habit of doing, but <sighs> let me go meet my new best friends. And I will see you guys afterwards, probably freaking out. Why am I gonna cry? Robo Rocky. I'm like, can y'all see this? I'm like actually tearing up. Anyways, I bought my jean holder. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> so just really quick, I wanted to show how she's meant to be seen in all her glory. I know, I know, a work of art, to be honest. Okay. Now let's get up in here, y'all. I want to show you these little drain holders, okay? So, these little doohickeys, I like them. Hello? I thought I heard someone in there. I need to not read scary books or books about space. It's terrifying. <laughs> so anyways, you just slide them on like that, and there you go. And I have room for my sports bras to hang out. So that's real nice. Love that for me. But yeah, I think that looks good there. There. I want to get a little stand to put hats on. I have only three, so I don't think that should be hard to do. And then I have a small purse that I think would look really cute on like one of those display purse stands right there. So I'll try to get one of those. And then my shoes and those. This is the next one. I'm going to go through that, get rid of a bunch of cardigans I don't need. But Miss Lulu came over here to join the party and then this 
I'm gonna put an acrylic thing my brother's boyfriend showed me that he got for his closet to put all these belt bags because I have three and I want to put these three on the acrylic stand and then I can put my wallets I don't use like when I'm not using them on that too and it'll look cute but yeah that's that oh I forgot to show y'all this um is from Rebel and Fleur I think it is and it says to whatever and my partner got me this for Christmas isn't it so cute we're gonna wear it while reading CC3 to manifest. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, hello. We have touched back down at home base. I have a big old coffee ready to go. I have got my physical copy of this book, although I'm not chill. And the audio is playing on the computer behind you guys. It's a good time. It's a good time. I am gonna go wash my lashes really quick. I want to record my review thingy of the September house before I do that so that I do not forget to do it and also I don't have a bunch of wet eyelashes because <laughs> I don't know if it would be obvious that that's the case but let's not find out okay but I am now on chapter 12 closing in on 200 pages Jake is chewing his toy right by y'all's ear so sorry about that we're nearing like halfway through this is what I have to go and this is what I've read and I am just so emotional <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. Honestly, I think it's because my period is supposed to start in like literally the next few days. And then again, I'm going to tell you, we're going to have like a sit down talk about this book. I feel it in my soul and in my being. I'm probably going to do it in a vlog and then I'll just like copy and paste that clip into my wrap up because I do not think I'll be capable of being as reactive or like truly getting across my feelings once I've calmed down because I will downplay them um, as always. But I am just, right now what I'm thinking about is the sacrifices people make. I'm thinking about humanity. I'm thinking about things being sacrificed for humanity. Would humanity do that for something else? The answer is no. I'm worried about a character already just met him and I'm stressed and I just like I could cry right now and I feel like a crazy person <laughs> like reading and now and then it gets me really emotional because I'm just like we we get to like live period but we get to live life through these books and we get to see we we, we know the people that wrote them because I, listen, we can go on and on about death of the author and all of that. I mean, truly, that was when I was like at my peak in college arguing that. And I do believe that there is that to some extent, uh, only when it comes to interpretation of the art. But I, I genuinely struggle to find how you would not see the author woven in the pages of the book they wrote. Uh, I... I'm only going off of what authors have said books are to them when they're writing them, but they're like equivalents of children being drawn. And I'm like, I can see that. It's very emotional. It's very, I just feel like it's a very, I don't know, intense, emotional, just bearing yourself for public consumption and critique and acceptance and love. Like, it's just all of it at once. It's very scary. Sometimes it can be amazing and it can be the best thing and we get to read it and we get to like live life hundreds thousands of times if we're lucky through books and it's just <laughs> I just love books so much and I love reading so much and I just also it's kind of amazing like this is a less emotional one being a mood reader is crazy because I'm looking at my TBR so I went with a YA a YA fantasy a little creepy spooky strange romance mystery thing a thriller slicing and dicing then I went back to a romance that made me want to slice and dice because it wasn't really that good and then I had a phenomenal study of character and human in a horror novel I just finished and then I have this which is another phenomenal study of the human experience and humanity as a whole and mm, 
Mm, you know, the only thing that gets me this emotional, like just quickly, is Doctor Who. And I know everyone, everyone goes to the Van Gogh episode. The Van Gogh episode makes me very sad for, I think, the very obvious reason of it. Mine is the just sheer blunt force will the doctor has to believe in the best of humanity. Like, just refuses to believe at its core that it's bad. And I would love to be not that cynical. Just the speeches that David Tennant would give and the more angry ones that Matt Smith would give and deliver were just, how could you listen to those and not cry? I don't know. And this gives me the closest I've had to the feeling that those speeches would give when I first watched the show. And I haven't watched um, The Twelfth Doctor and on. You'll have to let me know if I should. I just busy and I honestly stopped watching TV and we I think that's when streaming was something that we were like starting to really subscribe to so we stopped having cable to watch the BBC so yeah but I've been thinking about Doctor Who a lot and I really want to rewatch it I'm like spring break but that's not long enough I think summer break will be when I do it but I just man. And then I saw this quote on Instagram where I went to go have a freaking breather and I didn't. I just saw this quote about how it's like, I feel so deeply all the time. It's, it's a quote by an author, like one of the classical authors. And I don't know who it is, but it's this quote about, I feel so deeply, even in the absence of something, I feel this gaping void or whatever. And then I'm like, am I a cancer or am I just really sensitive? <laughs> I relate to that. And then I'm over here. Hey, nothing bad's happened. Not a thing. Although, okay, so let's get back to the actual reason we're here. How about chapter 11? First of all, what is, where's my main girl? Where's Strat? Strat? Strat is a sleigh. I love that character so much. And again, I'm not gonna say anything, but the way this is written, you know what it reminds me of? And this movie obviously already came out. And also this is not a new version of storytelling or whatever. I don't really care about that. I'm just drawing the comparison of like things I've seen to kind of, I guess, convey how I'm feeling. Oppenheimer, that movie took it out of me. There were some scenes in there that I was like, girl, what was that? And um, okay, anyways, and then I just eat my little popcorn. But there were other ones that I was just like, visually stunning. Killian Murphy, don't even look at me. But even Robert Downey, oh, don't, I'll cry, I'll cry. I don't know why RDJ makes me wanna cry, but he does every time. Just when he's happy, when he's sad, when he's, what? I don't care, I wanna cry, I just wanna cry. I think it's because of the Tony Stark of it all. But anyways, I just wanna cry. So, oh, ow, hello. I was just talking so good about you and you smacked me in the face, okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> kids, am I right? But, oh my god, I did it again, shut up. So this has, I'm not gonna go too far into it, but basically what's happened is our main character, I've read the flap so many times as to not spoil. And there are things that I think are hinted at in the flap. I discussed it on the stream and some people gave me a little guidance with that. Don't go, don't, do not look anything up. Don't do it. Don't go on Goodreads, don't go on Instagram. Do not pass go and collect $200. You go to your library, you collect this book, you sit your little butt down and you read it. And if you're able, also get the audio because there are some elements that you're gonna wanna hear, okay? They're quite musical. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so it does say that this is, I did not read the flat by the way. I had no idea what this was going into it. And that is, this visceral reaction I had from this book is why I really advocate for just go into it. Like genuinely, this is why I love covers that will depict what the book is about so well because this was so interesting to me. Just this is interesting to me. I read some of the praise that's on the back and then I was like, let's dive in, let's go girls. And then of course I had so many people telling me to read it, which is also helpful. But when you don't know anything about the book you're reading, it is just like everything is a plot twist, even just the literal plot. <laughs> it makes it so fun. I had to check that the uh, actual freaking speaker was on because if I was sitting here being vulnerable and it wasn't, I was going to be pissed. So anyways, our main character, Ryland Grace, he is the sole survivor on a desperate last chance mission and if he fails, humanity and earth itself will perish. 
That's a tall order, I'd say. Through that, we are getting, wait, let me see, wait, 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 hold, one moment. All right, sweet. So basically, he wakes up on this ship, has no idea where he is, when he is, who he is, why he is, and we are starting to go through that. And he's starting to get flashback memories. And so we are told this story through him in the now, and then in the past, getting to where he is now. And they've just introduced another one that reminds me of Oppenheimer in the fact of we have when they were creating the bomb and then we have the trials and then we have the aftermath and it's all woven together and when that freaking whoever did that music sometimes I'll listen to it just when I'm like I want to feel smart for a moment literally barely past physics mm, like that's the violin going crazy I don't even know if there's a violin anyways <laughs> I I really do watch that be my most played song on Spotify I'm predicting it now but anyways this is just this is just getting so good and I'm I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. But can we also talk about the fact that we saw Oppenheimer first and then went and saw Barbie as like the chill down and we were so emotionally drained. We probably should have saw Barbie twice in theaters, honestly, just for like a true experience of it because that was a lot. That was a lot to watch before we went and saw Bobby Girl in a Barbie world. But okay, I'm gonna go um, wash my lashes and update the other vlog and I will see you guys, okay? Okay, hello. Uh, it is Sunday, so as you saw, we went to the coffee shop. We went to the library. I got uh, my library hold for the Patreon book club for next month, the final strife. And oh my God, why is this like, don't manually focus. Don't make me work, <laughs> please. So I just got two things in the mail. And I actually do need this. So this is a hand fan. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay. Uh, it is a USB-C hand fan. And, oh, there goes the <laughs> charger. And the handle. I don't really need the handle. But this charger I do need. Well, I don't. I love that everything's moving to be a USB-C lately. It's so much easier. Trash two, but I got this. Um, it's literally just so that when I wash my lashes, I have this and I can just dry them right away because I notice that it's better that way. And I think I'm gonna, I don't do a morning skincare routine. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't. I hate getting my face wet, period, and I hate doing it in the morning, but that's fine. Uh, then I got the Tatcha Rice Wash. I got this because Kenya from S Hold by Kenya mentioned it in her makeup favorites. And so I have this little guy and we're gonna try it out today because we're about to go take a shower. It is two o'clock and I'm sleepy because it's the afternoon and that just always happens to me. So I am gonna take the shower to wake me up and then we got some tacos in the kitchen that I'm gonna eat for lunch. And then I have, I have a Mel vlog, I have a Chandler vlog, I have a Kenya Lily Reads vlog, and I have a Becca in the Books vlog. I have four hours of videos I get to watch. Okay, let's go shower so I can start watching them. Hello guys, so my hair is drying um, via the air and I am watching an old reading sprints live stream to get okay 
goodbye it was so good to see you why does that happen that's happened twice in this vlog it really doesn't happen that often the camera's haunted <laughs> but i am going to use these sprints to listen to I mean, maybe the last three hours of this. It will take me longer though because there are chatty bits in these sprints. If I'm really feeling it, maybe I will ignore the chatty bits. I don't really know. But I am on page 287 still. So 60% through, I do believe. And then while I was at the coffee shop, I did not want to listen to an audiobook because I spent the majority of my time editing the reading vlog, which currently y'all are sitting at an hour and 31 minutes. So whatever we get done here will be in addition to, but I edited that and then I rewatched it, which is always a fun time. But if you're wondering, I too watch <laughs> these long, long vlogs um, because I am paranoid <laughs> about editing and whatnot. But I did decide afterwards to start The Cruel Prince because that was just calling to me. I'm just in the mood for it, I think. So I got to 30 pages into that. So almost nearly read four chapters of that. So this one's gonna be its own separate vlog i think this is just gonna be like a vlog series thing i do where i'm like hey let's read an entire book series together and i think that is a fun idea but also i'm gonna make them spoiler free because they're really just gonna be hey let's read series i'm either excited about or i love a lot already so that we can just have a reading vlog vibe because i talked about it last time and y'all did agree that I just like reading vlogs because I like to watch people be readers. I don't necessarily need full flushed out theses, thesi on books. I, y'all. If I don't even read the actual synopsis that the author slash publisher came up with, I'm not really, I'm not really all here for the reviews. It's just, I have my people that I know are tastes align or don't align in certain ways. And based on their likage of it, I will either avoid or go into the book with certain, you know, thoughts and expectations. But I have really, I don't know what it is, but I've really started to find myself enjoying hearing people discuss their books and discuss what they're reading purely for the joy of it or the strong emotions if it's not a good book to them. I just really like that and I like seeing their routine and I like seeing, you know, just their day-to-day -day life, books included. And I've really gotten away from looking at recommendations or recommendation videos or reviews, review videos, wrap-ups. Like I just, to me, wrap-ups are for people that really want those reviews and they read based off reviews based off of the synopsis, based off of certain expectations they want into the book. And then I feel like we have the vibe people, which I think I would fall into that group of, I'm gonna assume the vibes are good based on how you act. Sorry, it's getting really cloudy all of a sudden. Um, let's check the weather. We haven't had a weather talk. I mean, we had the snow earlier this week, but. We should talk about the weather. Oh, there's an 80% chance of rain right now. Interesting. There's actually a 80% chance right now, a 90% chance all tomorrow, 80% chance all Tuesday, 40% all Wednesday, and another 50% all Friday. Y'all, I'm just having a lot of strong feelings, and I don't know. Listen, here's the other thing. Could be because I'm a Libra moon and a sun cancer and apparently something about Aquarius and the moon and Pluto are doing things. I don't really know about all this, but allegedly they're doing these things and you're going to be really emotional too because you're finally going to start regulating out. I don't feel very regulated. I just feel very in touch with my emotions. I think I can thank therapy for that. Maybe not Pluto. I, uh, I'm just feeling like so excited and like happy whoa that's how you know it's like the end of january because february 
I maybe am not <laughs> the popular opinion. I feel like most corners of the internet that I venture to or visit tend to be anti-Valentine's Day because it's a Hallmark holiday and it's made up. Da -da -da. Challenge you this, all holidays are made up. I love Valentine's Day. I just think it's cute. I like pink and red together. I like hearts. I like getting little presents for my partner. I just like it. And he, I just do. So, I, I was thinking, I've told y'all before that we do the thing of like, for our anniversary and then also birthday, we do the thing where we go buy three books each for the other person. But like in my stack, I get to, we switch it up sometimes based on how we're feeling honestly that year. It's either you pick two that you want and then they pick one for you that they think that you'll like or two that they think you'll like and then one that you get to pick so you know for sure you're getting one that you wanna read. But I'm thinking like on Valentine's Day, it'd be kind of cute to just do the one that they think you want to read and do like a boo basket thing, but like, not like boo, like boo, you know? That would be cute, like go to Target together and do that. Anyways, the reason I mentioned February is I like Valentine's Day. Also, it is a shorter month, except not this year. Leap year, baby. Maybe things are like, never mind. We're not going to put that on the universe because we're not going to jinx it. Do you like my medieval fireplace in the background? If you can even hear it. But anyways, we're so close to March. I love March so much. I love storm season. I love it so much. When we move out of here, the state, or if we're just not in the South, I'm going to be so sad because I love the weather. I do. I love hot summers. I love going outside and being like, Ooh, I just walked into the devil's oven. Like that was hot. I love it. Can't lie to you. I don't want as hot as Arizona. That's a little too much. But I do love, I do love it. And I love March, April, and May. And now it's also a little bit more June too is involved. And I just love how it rains pretty much every day. And it's just a little bit, or we have all the dark clouds moving in and you know, all of the big thunder and lightning storms. I just love it. So we're getting to that time of year, which I do enjoy. And I think honestly, is this growth? I'm starting to really like spring and early fall way more than actual fall and winter. And then summer is fine. It's just kind of there. Uh, you can't really do anything in summer because it's so dang hot. I, I think I like spring more than fall. I really do. It's just so... I don't know, you feel like joy again. In fall, I'm like, oh, this is really nice and I like the colors, like they go with my skin tone, but in two months time, seasonal depression hits. <laughs> so it's not as exciting. Anywho, I'm going to get back into this guy. I'll update you obviously as we go. And then once I'm finished, we'll be full steam ahead into the Cruel Prince series. But for now, I'll put that little one down and I'll get back into this. Thank you, wish me luck. Hey, quick question. Why are there flurries predicted for the next um, hour here? Can anyone, anyone answer me that? What's going on? Okay, so I have actually been filming today my last day of the screen time for reading time of a loggy vlog, and it's going well. Um, I am dedicating it to this and then also the Curl Prince, which is over yonder. But uh, I'm at page 377, and I think I'm going to call the weekly vlog here so that I can get it all put in there and done so that when it does get approved by the sponsor I can just upload it put it up for the earliest of accesses to patreon and then we're all good to go on that front I also forgot to say the Tatcha skin rice rinse thing I'm gonna have to recommend that because obviously I'll have to see later but after washing it my face felt so clean and just so smooth 
I really, really liked it. And it didn't feel super dry. Like, when I usually cleanse my face, it feels so dry. And it didn't. Of course, I still put moisturizer on and everything. But it just feels better. It just feels less drying, I guess. I think I'm just going to have a bunch of hydration in my skincare routine, to be honest. Like, I don't... Sure, breaking out's going to happen. Mine's hormonal. But if I can make my face feel this nice... I don't have to look at it, so I don't really care what it looks like. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great week. I hope that you are staying hydrated, drinking your water, as you should, and be kind, and have a good day on purpose, and I will see you later. Bye! Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times